Okay, this is Cool Dude Clem here, and today I'm going to be making some improvements to these headphones. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. These are Philips SHP2500. I believe these are the same as the one Slimetron 5000 has. The ones are used in his Funk You Philips video. Now these are really nice headphones, but the one thing I don't like about them is they've got this awful double entry thing. You've got one cord for each headphone and that's not really good. Because this cord, just look at this, it can get so tangled up. It's all twisted around there. It's absolutely completely unnecessary. So I'm going to take these things apart and change them into a single entry cord. So, first of all we've got to take these things apart. Actually, I'm not going to take them off the swivel thing. So take the ear padded bits off first. Hope I'm showing this in the camera. Yep. And there's three screws to remove in each thing. So now, remove the screws. So now we can get inside them. So you can see the two individual speakers now. I'm going to make it so the cord only goes into the left earphone. I've got some three core wire right here, matches two core screened wire. Now what I'm going to do is put this wire into here where that wire was, well where that wire is. And that's going to be wired to this speaker here and then I'm going to make a wire that goes all the way around there and connects this speaker here. Okay I've now got those wires unsoldered so these are free from the rest of it. Now, to replace these cables. Just got to untie it and then put the new cable in. And there we are, the new cable is in. And the left has been soldered into the headphone speaker. Now, what am I going to do regarding the right? I think what I'm going to have to do is drill a hole in each ear cup, then run the wire through and see how well that works out. Okay, now a lot more later on into the build now. As you can see, I've now put a cable onto the right headphones. I've used the original headphone wire, which is this horrible enamel coated stuff, but I can usually burn that off with the soldering iron, and that's what I've done there. So I've just got to connect up these wires here and close it all up, and then wire it into the volume control, and we'll see how well they work. Well, here we are, I've got one of them put back together now and soldered the wires in. So I've just got to put this back together and then connect the other end of this to the inline volume control and we should be in business. Well, here we are, I decided to jump right into the um, end of the build because this, this video is probably too long enough already but here are the he head headphones put back together. And you can see that I have put that wire onto what's left of the inline volume control. I will insulate those wires later on, but let's just take it for a test. Well, I can hear something coming through the headphones. Let's see if we've got any sound out of the left. I wonder. <laughs> see, I don't. I don't know where this recording came from, it was on the tape when I got it, but now let's test the right. Well, I don't know if you could hear that, but I tested these headphones myself 
and they're working just great. So, there we go, much better. No more tangled wires. And that concludes this episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. So until next time, goodbye. Next time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, we will be taking a look at his homemade FM radio microphone transmitter. That's next time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. <laughs>